PJ from PhotoshopBus.co.uk. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some sparkly borders or strokes. This here, you can see there's this border which is sparkling. So, you can get websites and programs that automate this process, but um, we like to use Photoshop, so we'll do it manually. So I'm going to unlock the background layer. This layer is 400 by 200 pixels at 72 ppi, pixels per inch. So we're going to shift F5 and fill it with 50% grey. And we're going to hit Control T, make it square, and then do filter noise add noise, click OK, filter, sharpen, sharpen and then we're going to add an adjustment layer so I'll hold down ALT so it clips into this and we'll do vibrance, use previous layer to create clipping mask and we'll turn up the vibrance and we'll turn up the saturation so it just gives it a little bit extra come back down to the layer and we'll create a video timeline so create timeline we'll convert this to a smart object so we get the option to transform and so just move the position set a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch come out to around about three seconds hit control T and then we're just gonna spin it around so now if we press play, you can see it's spinning. So I'm just going to create a new layer underneath by pressing control and hitting new layer. And I'm going to go file, place, and just bring out something to put there. You can see it's a little bit small. Hold down alt and drag on one side. Hold. That's fine. Now I can see the layers needs bringing over because I brought it in and placed it. Um, and it lands where the CTI, which is the current time indicator, is. Okay, so now on this layer 0, which we can just call our sparkles, gonna add a layer mask, turn it off, get our rectangular marquee tool, I'm gonna make a thin, I'm not gonna make a selection, but it's gonna create a border for us. and alt delete first of all turn it on alt delete control d window view actual pixels okay so now if we come to the beginning and we press play you can see we've got a sparkly border and then when you want to save it you go to file save for web and devices and then you want to make sure this is set for forever save it and it will look something like this there we go so that's how you create a sparkly border or stroke and thanks for watching i'll catch you next time